Well, it seems like my knife collection does not stop growing. Today I've got four new knives to show you guys. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're doing a complete top-down video today of some new Benchmade knives that I've acquired. If you guys have seen my folding knife collection video, this entire case is full of knives and I've got another case now, not quite as big as that one, but got some more storage for knives and these are the four newest ones in my collection as far as folders go. Now I am still on the fixed blade life. This has been my EDC for a while now. This is a 3 16th version of my collaboration with Two Feathers Productions. This is the mini workhorse. So I have been carrying this knife in this sheath for quite a while now. But after I got these four knives, I have actually been carrying two knives. So first up, this guy right over here has been in my pocket as well as an EDC folder, even though I have an EDC fixed blade. This right here is the Benchmade Atomus. Now this knife is large and in charge as an EDC knife. This is really coming out of Benchmade's black line. This is sort of a tactical knife. Police, military, law enforcement, you may see them carrying something similar to this. Big, beefy knife, and I guess I really gravitated towards this one recently because I'm used to carrying a fixed blade. This actually makes my mini workhorse look even minier. I mean, this is just a really big knife. So the Benchmade 275 Atomus is coming in with a blade length of about 3.82 inches long, overall length just under nine inches. So really beefy knife here. We have G10 handles. The blade steel is a CPM crew wear, 6365 Rockwell hardness on this thing. This is really a tough, hard use knife. It does have the access lock, of course, and the action on this thing, although it's a pretty heavy knife. Coming in at 6.45 ounces, the action of it is still great. I can flick it out just like I would any other knife with an access lock on it. It's got some nice jimping on the top there and a reversible, deep carry pocket clip. Now as far as comparisons go, right underneath here, we have the Mini Atomus, which you guys may have seen on a video in the past. So the Mini Atomus at the time even felt like a pretty big knife, but this one is just so much bigger. I can definitely see how people like the Mini Atomus as an EDC knife, and when compared to the big one, which I have been carrying, this thing feels like nothing in my hand. Still a really robust knife, really good lockup on these guys. If I originally got this mini in black, I probably would have ended up carrying it a little bit more. Speaking of that though, this right here is a custom version of the mini Atomus that one of my followers over on Patreon made for me. So shout out to Parker. I'm not sure if I showed this on a video in the past, but there you can see all black finish on there. He laser etched my company logo on there. Really clean looking design. He also changed out the thumb stud on this one, so there's a little bit of a tritium insert in there. I believe it's tritium. It's kind of hard to see with this light right now, but super cool knife. And lately, for whatever reason, this large Atomus has been in my pocket. Next up, we're looking at a type of knife that I really don't have a whole lot of in my collection, but this right here is the Benchmade 317 Weekender. So this is really a traditional style folding pocket knife with not one, but two blades on this guy, sort of like a pen blade on this side, although a little bit wider than most pen blades. And this is just like a really traditional pocket knife that you could take camping, whittle stuff with, just a overall nice classic design. Both of these blades are plain edge with sort of a stone wash finish on there. And they're using really nice steel on here. They're using some S30V steel on both the small and large blade. We have some gray G10 on the handles here, and I believe they also have a micarta version of this blade, and I love micarta, so that is probably another cool option if you're into some classic stuff. And of course, we have a bottle opener on there, because why not? Camping tool, something you have with you every day, might as well have a little bottle opener on it. Now, I don't have much to compare to the Weekender, but I do have these two sort of modernized traditional folders here. Right here, you've seen this one a bunch, the Chris Reeves Impenda. I did actually carry this knife for a little while until I realized that it becomes kind of impractical if you're using your knife a lot just because it has a nail nick, so it's kind of 
a little bit more difficult to open than something like an access lock or any kind of flipper knife. Absolutely love this blade though. Things kind of pricey, but still very cool. Speaking of pricey and a traditional folding pocket knife, right here we have the Birdviz Hitchcock. This knife has seen a little to no pocket time because I'm afraid to cut things with it because it's just such a nice knife. I've got a ton of knives that I sort of beat on. It looks like I did cut some stuff because there's a little bit of tape gunk on there. But yeah, this Birdviz, definitely comparable as far as like a traditional pocket knife goes. But when it comes down to it, I would probably opt to beat up the Benchmade before I beat up something like those two. Next up, moving down the line here, we have another sort of new knife coming from Benchmade, at least new to me. It's been out for a little while now. This is the 5370 FE Shootout. This is a double action out the front automatic and this thing fires pretty dang fast. What's kind of unique about this one is that they're using the Carbon Fiber Elite handles, the CF Elite, which I actually have in the bug out. I've got a lot of bug outs and that was probably one of my most carried knives, the CF Elite bug out. They did something a little bit different here with the texturing. So it's sort of, it's like knurling material here, but then up top, they have some really enhanced grip texture on here, which sort of feels like sandpaper and it really just like locks into your thumb. Typically I'm not holding an out the front knife like this, but I guess my front finger will kind of wrap around there and you definitely get a lot of traction up front with that enhanced texture there. On the back here we have a carbide glass breaker because this one is also coming from their tactical black line. Deep carry pocket clip on this side which is reversible depending on if you are left or right handed. We also have that CPM crew wear blade on here, tanto shaped. We're looking at a blade length of just over three and a half inches and a total length of 8.22 inches. So fairly large knife but it's kind of what you would expect with an OTF. This thing is coming in under three ounces. It's 2.8 ounces, so very lightweight for an out the front, but I think you do jeopardize a little bit. I'm sure you guys can hear that. There it is behind the camera. This thing does have some blade play to it. It doesn't feel like it's really going to fail, but most out the fronts do have a little bit of blade play. You can kind of see there as I rock it side to side. Quite a bit of movement, but that doesn't really bother me because I honestly don't carry OTFs all that often. The mechanism though feels super solid. I like the little bit of jimping on the also either plastic or CF Elite little thumb ramp there so you can activate it, pull it right back into the handle fairly quickly. I dig this knife. I like where they were headed with it, but it's just not entirely my style. Maybe in the future I'll get onto an out the front kick and end up carrying this thing. For comparison to the new shootout, this is one that I reviewed a little while ago. Actually, it's probably quite a while ago now. This is the Benchmade Autocrat. Now this one is a dagger style blade. Still get that play in there, but because the actual handles of this are G10 and aluminum, it feels a little bit better in my hand. The little bit of heft that this thing has compared to the shootout just makes it feel, to me, like a better knife. Not saying it is by any means because they're both coming from Benchmade. They make quality stuff, but I like the material choices on this a little bit more because I'm not super into having the lightest weight knife available. We're moving on to the bug out next, so we will talk about the weight of knives, but I'm carrying a fixed blade right now. I have been carrying the Atomist too, so weight doesn't bother me that much. If we compare these two side by side, it's definitely a little bit shorter than the Autocrat. Different blade shapes as well. I would say that this is more of like a user knife and this is a little bit fancier. This one's coming with an S30V blade, so the crew wear might be better for hard use and that's why I believe this one came from their blue line and this is in their black line. Now, last but not least, moving on to this guy over here, we have the Benchmade bug out. This is the model, this is model 535BK-4. So this is the latest iteration of the bug out and there are a lot of bug outs out there. I've got a few which I'll show you here in a second. It's everything you know and love about the bug out. Super slim, lightweight. What's different about this one 
is that they're using an M390 blade steel on here. So very nice steel for such a tiny little pocket knife. We have some black and red hardware, red on the thumb stud, and then on these little spacers here. It does have a mini deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible to either side. These handles are made out of aluminum and you can tell they're very nicely machined. Not really my aesthetic when it comes to knives like this, but still very nice nonetheless. When it comes to the best EDC blade coming from Benchmade, Bug Out probably takes the cake now. Back in the day, I would have said that the Griptilian was probably the best, but now that they have all of these new knives out here, this is probably the most carried Benchmade out there, if I had to guess. Now you ready for the comparisons? <laughs> We've got so many dang bug outs over here. So my very first bug out was this one right here, all black, because you know how that goes. S30V steel on here, they were coming out the gate hot with this blade. Absolutely love that thing. And then they released the Carbon Fiber Elite version. So this one is very similar to the material on the shootout here. Both are very lightweight as opposed to the grievery or grivery on there. You're saving a little bit of weight here. Might be a little bit more rigid than that other plasticky material, but I absolutely love this knife. I should probably start carrying this again. It's just so thin, so lightweight, great action on it. It's just a really good EDC knife. And then I think I added this one to my collection. This happens to be the Bailout. So a little bit longer overall. You've seen this in videos in the past. This is a part of their black line as well. So they're using some 3V blade steel on this guy. A little bit longer overall, Tonto point on there. You can tell you got maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch longer than a regular bug out. Another great option for EDC. You got the mini bug out. This thing is so dang tiny. This one started out as a white bug out and ripped it apart, dyed the scales black. So it's another option. Over here, we've got a carbon fiber, not CF Elite, but actual carbon fiber version of the bug out. This is S90V steel on here. Nice and smooth, really sort of like gentleman's knife-esque if a bug out was a gentleman's knife. Blue hardware on this guy here for the backspacer and the thumb stud. Really nice looking knife. And then this guy right here, collaboration between Benchmade and WorkSharp. This is a limited edition bug out with their sort of amber WorkSharp color scales on there. And this blade steel is 20 CV. Right there you can see limited edition. Have not carried this knife. It was sitting on my desk for a while, so I was kind of using it as a desk knife and I mean, if that doesn't go to show how much I like bug outs, then I don't know what does. We've got a lot of them here. So that's really all that I had for today. I just wanted to show you guys some of these new knives, maybe some stuff that you weren't aware of and you are now. If you wanna find out more about any of these, I'll leave a link to Benchmade's website in the description down below. So any questions, let me know. Maybe you guys wanna see me like do an in-depth review on any of these knives. I can make that happen. So let me know in the comments down below. That is all for today. If you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.